What's going on everyone? My name is Skiz. Welcome to another episode of our graffiti freight watching series. So we've got a great line of freight behind us today. For those of you who are new to this, this is the series where we take a look at a lot of the great, not just pieces, but also throw ups, tags, the monikers, the whole nine yards really into being displayed on these sort of moving art galleries that are here for those who are smart enough to look at them. We look at them, get inspired by them a little bit and use it as an opportunity to really connect with graffiti communities across the continent. That's what these freights are so great for. So I'm gonna jump right into it because we have a killer line today and there's lots of stuff that we're gonna and have to take a long hard look at. Yeah, the only thing that's frustrating with a lot of these sort of box cars is just how many different blocks of information like uh, these that end up getting blocked out and they're just huge, right? So they actually do put huge dents in a lot of pieces. So that's always a little bit frustrating. We have an HZXD piece here though. Awesome, I'm loving the character. It's like a lizard froggy type thing, that's awesome. Just adding like a simple character, not that that's simple by any means, but just adding any kind of character to a piece really brings it up. Yeah, and you know, something on this HZXD piece here that I wanted to specifically mention too when I saw it was just that there's obviously no 3D on it. I think it's very, very underrated to see a big thick outline like this without 3D. That sort of simplicity really does serve a purpose. As always, let me get in here and give you an important look at what's going on here. We got Padre, <laughs> anus. It's hot as hell out here today, guys. You guys are lucky you can uh, take a look at this from the comfort of hopefully an air-conditioned room. We got an heiress here. Man, I love the shape of that R. So there's obviously like the downward sloping 3D there going straight towards the bottom of this piece. Something that's really nice about it is that you can see there's like negative space there and negative space here. The negative space has been managed very well. It's very equal throughout the piece. Personally, I've always found it very hard to do that. Um, so like on, on a lot of my pieces, I just sort of get rid of all of the negative space and that's my solution to it. But I've always had a lot of respect for people that are top notch at, at finding balance within pieces and that sort of thing. We got a Sarge tag there. Vertical stuff, very underrated. Pop quiz. That's another aspect of, of the freight. You gotta love the creativity of not just the actual pieces, but the names as well. <laughs> like I said, this line is loaded. So uh, strap yourselves in because we got tons of great stuff we're gonna be looking at here. One of my favorite pieces actually is this next one on this line. I always take a bit of a look at them before I record just to know what I'm talking about a little bit. So we got a horse piece here. It's one of the cleanest things that you'll see on this line. And you know, it's subtle things about a lot of these pieces that really bring the professionalism of them up. Uh, of course the cleanliness of them does, but just subtle things such as like how certain uh, letters are angled so that they work together and flow, that really creates um, a, a next level piece. And horse is all about that right here. That's what I'm talking about. Actually, we got an Azek piece here. So I'm pretty sure what he did here was he did the top half with a blue outline and the bottom half with a red outline. And I think the, the red outline has fared significantly worse. At least that's what it looks like has been done. I don't know. Hard to tell. Either way, you can tell the style is there. It's dope. <laughs> Kink bang, okay. 
Macedonia, Ohio. Nice. Man, what can I even say, you know? I'm just taking it all in here. Seuss. Now we got a very special car here. Something, something I want to point out, like it has to be pointed out about this piece here, is just the the bevels, the way the bevels are done. They're done very casually, and if you get a close look at this, you'll see that it's really there's only two colors here. Um, but that's why I want to get close here because it's hard to do bevels in the first place, but do, doing it and making it look <laughs> like uh, correct with only two colors is is awesome. So loving that and then we got a beautiful macro piece here there was a date on this that i saw i thought not seeing it now but my point was though that even way back when this was done uh he was still writing for cdc so he's been with cdc forever now normally i try and cover like a bit of a specific topic in these episodes but normally there's not this much going on on the freight so i'm just happy to sort of let everyone take a look at this and and really absorb what's going on here loving the color scheme here fades to black very underrated i have to say I don't know. What do you guys think? Fades to black, yay or nay? Is that something you guys use in your pieces or is it just, uh, I do it occasionally, but man, it's so hot out here. Cleaver, Seppos and Vamps. Nice 20, that's good. Good to see people keeping up with the freights. Not good to see random childish beef, but whatever. So we got a Veco piece here. I'm really feeling what they did with the E here. 2012 too, Jesus. But yeah, just like it's a very simple effect they did with the filling of the E. Obviously the two color thing like that is a consequence of your environment when you're painting with not too many cans. You run out of some fill-in colors sometimes, but he's blended it quite nicely together and it, it does make the piece look much more complete. So gotta give him props for that. And 2012, geez, that's been up for almost a decade now. That's awesome. Let me get in here. Can't miss a nice drippy tag for you guys. Too rare on these, uh, on these freights too, the drips. In my opinion. Joints one, we got Deuce. Oh nine. Shout out to Rapid. Crush and Pike. We got tox here, or maybe tax. They very heavily blended the K and the S here, but it's still, the letters are still very clearly independent. So I like what's been done there. It is tox based on the tag over there. Yeah, there's just nothing to skip over here. Like this is straight awesomeness. Wow. jerk so here i've definitely seen this uh specific style before so i know i've seen pieces by this writer but um i don't need to help point out how awesome that kind of thing is very simplistic it's a, see it's these simplistic things that top writers are usually able to do that that bring the piece up a level and even that you know this is a clearly a old as hell piece and although it's it's that old it's those little elements which <laughs> stick around with the piece and make it look that much better and still make it look top notch even now we had a 2014 here beautiful chrome tag up there just loving everything here you know you have to love everything here if you're not loving everything what's wrong with you <laughs>
nice. Something interesting here, um, it's askew but with a U instead of the EW as, as in the famous askew. Piece itself is quite nice, again, dual color fill in with separate letters, separate colors, separate colors for separate letters I should say. Ooh. You know what, I've actually never seen that kind of serif on a P before, huh. I absolutely love that. That's awesome. And that's why you, that, that's the whole beauty of coming out here and just taking a look at a lot of the freights. Like I've obviously seen tons of freights just like any other writer, but every now and then you do see stuff that's just entirely unique and new. And that's really the beauty of being out here. It's hard to explain it in words, but I know a lot of the writers understand. We got Irish getting up high. We got this guy. I was told by someone that it was a certain person and then it ended up not being that person. Um, and someone said, no, it's this guy. So I don't know their name anymore. I thought I did, but I don't. I'm probably visibly sweating on camera, but whatever. <laughs> Gotta get in here close. Get all these beautiful styles. We got Asher here. Here's another thing, sort of for the younger writers probably. If you're wondering sort of how to make a piece look complete or uniform, something you can do to make it uniform that Asher has done here is just, you can see there's this, right? There's uh, that little element, that little element, this one, and that one. They're all that same sort of curly bit, and they're evenly spaced throughout the piece. The one on the R is a little bit higher than the rest of them, but that's fine. And it's just the those type of elements that take a style and still make it look uniform, even though it is obviously trying to be a unique style. So that's a simple thing that again you don't notice unless you're unless you've learned it, sort of. Mobs from GUK. GUK is a very big crew, or at least in my book they are. I love sort of this jagged style here. Color scheme is awesome with this too. You got like the burgundy with the pink for the outline. That's just gorgeous. So something I should actually stop and talk about is why you're probably not seeing this video on my normal release date, which is Mondays. And basically I've been able to determine that this is a series that has a very loyal following on my channel. Like this is episode 13 of our freight watching series now. It has a very loyal following and people love this series. It's one of the, the only ones that people are actively always messaging me about saying make more episodes of freight watching, like, you know, in the DMs, in my email, just everywhere, which is awesome. I, I love the enthusiasm. I don't mind getting messages, obviously, but the sort of loyal fan base of this series specifically that I'm talking about is a little bit smaller than a lot of the other series. So instead of cutting it out, because I couldn't do that, like it's, it's one of my favorite series to make too. And it's admittedly one of the types of videos that takes me less time to film and edit and upload and all that. So you're probably seeing this as an extra video during the week. And that's what these freight watching videos probably will continue to be like extra ones that you see during the week. And then you'll also still get the regular Monday uploads. And that way you're getting just as many freight watching episodes as you otherwise would. And you're getting even more uh, uploads than you would if, if this was taking up like a Monday slot for an upload. So just to be clear, it is something I'm moving, but it's something that's that makes room for even more content. I'm really trying to beef up the content on the channel because you guys deserve it. Speaking of things being deserved, this skew piece deserves a bit of attention, like very jagged style. Um, beautiful to see like a consistent midline through there. And one of the ways that skew here is emphasized that midline is you can see this sort of horizontal element going into the piece it's it's present in the w there as well with this line of the e that part of the k and that part of the s they're all on that midline and that's one of those simple things that i'm trying to talk about for some of the younger writers that emphasizes that uniformity i guess makes makes a nice clean piece basically I always feel bad for the guy in the crew that gets stuck working these middle areas because they get really uh, messed up by a lot of the, the buffs and all that, you know. We got Agile up there, a very appropriate place for the name Agile to be, I will point out. Love that. 
gorgeous piece here. That's uh, what Triggs, uh, uh, an homage to Triggs, of course. 09 though, that's very, very old. Yeah, just so much of it is blocked out here. Uh, it's a shame, big shame. So we got save here. Yeah, I mean, what can I even say? Gorgeous piece. Loving the S here. Loving the way that it's sort of this little bit that's joined there. See, again, that's you see a lot of S's, right? <laughs> I mean, that sounds dumb to say, but you do. And I've never quite seen something exactly like that. So again, like, it's already been worthwhile for me personally to come out and look at this because I just, every time you see something new, that's really what to take from it. And it's not to see something new so that you can copy it, obviously. It's, it's just to see something new and to be able to appreciate it or to sort of look at the rest of the piece then and figure out what process they went through that got them to the point where they made that part of the piece work how they made that element work how they fit it in with the uniformity of the rest of the piece that sort of thing so that's always what i'm looking for when i see new stuff like that like how did they think of that exactly and like now of course you guys want an example um especially for the the doubters but like this is the way i see it is the s comes down and then it goes up and then it goes out a little bit and just happens to to overlap right and then with the e you have it coming over this way and then going up and then going out that way so if you have a piece going out that way and a piece going out that way like if you're just looking at the s you just see it as like oh that's cool but if you figure out what's happening in the rest of the piece you sort of figure out the process that probably went through the artist's head to say okay this should have that there and i'm assuming that's what happened i i could always be wrong we got tone here awesome piece super clean obviously too yeah managing negative space with this sort of swirl love it we got wager here creek the blackest sky out of all these freight cars today we've only come across like one like blank blank one and then a couple that are you know just trashy like this but for having gone past probably 10 15 already that's pretty dope and lots more to come guys i have to tell you <laughs> so yeah so i mean i shouldn't laugh because it's not fun when you get interrupted doing whatever but i what the reason i'm laughing is because someone put run right there <laughs> uh, and it does look like it's the same paint as they were using to actually do the piece so hope they were okay uh 901 area code i actually looked up where that is i never would have guessed but uh put in the comments if anyone knows where the 901 is it's not a super big popular area code or anything so we have free yes crime 36 yeah um this is one of the best things you'll see today. No way around it. A-U-D-E, I believe, I don't know. It's easier to see this stuff on camera actually than in person because on camera it sort of flattens it out for you and you're able to read these things a little bit better. Loving the little, little pumpkin theme going on here. I just can't get over these, you know, like the level of complexity that you're dealing with here is just beautiful. 2K14, so 2014, we got Pedro. Namas. So we got high low here. Great simple little piece, could even call it a straight letter. Yeah, probably sound like a broken record here, but I'm pointing out these simplistic things that make these pieces work. You have each part of the H curves around here, the I, the L, and the O, they all jut that way a little bit in a nice bulge. And that's like, again, a very small thing, but it makes it uniform and it makes it work and it makes it have a style. Like it does it all for the piece, right? We got noose up there as well. We've seen noose before. Loser Lee we've seen before. I love this. 
like I was saying before, very underrated, having just a super thick outline and no 3D. And that's underrated in a couple ways. The biggest one I sort of mean that it's underrated in is like for freight specifically. So like put it in the comments, like how many people actually do that kind of piece ever? Like is it 5% of people? Is it 1%? Because it's not a lot. And it really is the type that, that stands out in a freight environment quite clearly, cleanly, and it's probably a little bit faster if we're being honest, right? Again, a beautiful color scheme to use. Three different colors across three different letters. Guts here. Beautiful. Yeah. Even someone saying hi to Guts there. Pretty awesome. Fowler Moms, okay. <laughs> We got NWK here. Not a crew I've heard of, but the piece itself is awesome. And I mean, uh, red and blue, you can't go wrong, right? Red and blue. Oh yeah, this, this is one of, the, one of the other things that I definitely want to make sure I paid good attention to here is this piece. And that's just because it's sort of like what I was saying before, that really old one. Um, you just have a simple thing that's been done in the 3D here just some pink added to it and it's been gone over with a skinny cap in the black beautiful and part of what's so ingenious about it is it's something that anyone could do skill level wise it's not a hard thing to do and like it's been done uh, over here by someone else again obviously they were together but it's been done again right and the thing about it is just skill level wise anyone could pull it off but it's just it's just understanding things well enough to know to do stuff like that and understanding how to make things look absolutely great while not putting in 2000 percent effort you know this is still a casual painting day basically something that i didn't notice before on this piece is just that this board it's funny that they reuse boards because that board obviously was somewhere else on this piece and was flipped. I, if I had to guess, I'd say it was flipped and it was this board before. So flip this around, put it up here, and that's where it would fit in, I think. I could be wrong, I don't know. I didn't know they reused wood like that. I don't see why they wouldn't, but it's just an interesting thing that I've not seen before. We got a hoser piece here. There's been some hoser tags we've passed already today. Beautiful ice throw up, getting up high, that's the way to do it. And so, This color scheme didn't fare too well. Doesn't make it any less awesome though. Yeah, to be honest, this is like one of the best lines of freights in terms of providing examples of just simple stuff, but stuff that's 100% still injected with style and has been done well. So like, if you are a younger writer getting into the game, this is exactly the kind of stuff that, like when I was a lot younger, I would look at this kind of stuff and it would look like quite simple and I would know it looked good, but I couldn't tell you why, right? And as you learn about artistic concepts like balance, you know, negative space management just uh, just those off the top of my head um it, you you do learn why these things look good 2010 by the way that's awesome wow the piece is surviving quite well for 2010 This is something I didn't notice on my first pass of these either, but look at this. <laughs> like, that's the only part of a, a piece that survived here. That's incredible. You can even see the difference in the paint. Like, this has been buffed, and, and there's just there's just something left there. I don't know, maybe they couldn't get in there with the paint. Maybe you're not allowed to touch that part of it, but... Yeah, this, this is pretty cool. Something else I haven't seen, that's for sure. We got some here. Um, yeah. Can't argue with a color scheme like that. That's a super powerful in your face color scheme to work with. I'm not crazy about like the S overlapping itself sort of, especially when the other letters don't do that and there's less negative space in it. But like I'm never, when I say this stuff, it's not to criticize it. It's just, it's good to look at everyone's work with a critical point of view, sort of. Not, not to hate on it or anything. And not that that's not 
an awesome piece and who 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 really cares like they're getting up having fun that's what it's all about but it, it's good to do that for your own sort of like analytical thinking and it'll help you this fair piece is just off the chain in terms of the the style and just how how these letters bend this is the kind of stuff that i'm just blown away by Let me step back here. I'm not giving you guys enough views of all of these pieces. So that looks like an Acer piece right there. Uh, and fair. Yeah, this is this whole car itself is gorgeous too. And something I like about the camera I'm using here, the I'm just using a GoPro camera. It's not fancy or anything, but it actually captures colors quite vividly. In that regard, it's quite good. In most other ways, it's a shit camera to be perfectly honest, but um, yeah, I use it for this specifically because it's got that vibrancy. So again, we have horse. Uh, we know horse is just from that piece alone back that way. We know horse understands letters, right? But it's also good to see a character and something that entirely features a character here. That's just awesome. Although there is Mario there, so I don't know if this is a Mario piece or what, but, but my point was it's just good to see both. You should always pay attention to both, in my opinion. Simply from the standpoint of it'll, it'll help you grow as an artist. Yeah. Look at that. We got Gasp way up high. Stoner and Nadal. Ooh. Yeah, I could obviously talk all day about like any of these pieces and it probably feels like I have been, but it's just good to take it all in really. So we got missing here, M-I-S apostrophe N-G, I believe. We got siren here. Awesome. So much old stuff on this freight line as well. Awesome to see. And of course, they're all like the red freights, which I think they don't really do too much now. Like the new one, whenever you see ones that are clearly new freight, it's like the yellow that you see now. We got Fanta, Cons, Sapa, nice big throwy. Can't argue with a nice big throwy. Fanta and Dawn's actually, so it wasn't Cons before. Yeah, so like, it's important to understand the importance of throwies, really. Even in the freight scene, like, absolutely nothing wrong with that, I love it. So I'm showing you the last car here. What can I say? This is a killer line. Awesome to see such a high volume of work. You know, like I said, I walked this one time before recording, as I always do. I honestly feel like I could walk it another five times and still notice some stuff that I didn't notice and it would be totally beneficial to me. I can't emphasize how important it is to pay attention to graffiti across the continent, really, on these streets, because it really does help you understand the kind of stuff that's going on in your graffiti community, and it can help you piece together other things about graffiti, about piecing that you otherwise would not have known. The more sources of information you have about this great thing we we all love, the better and the more it'll help you out. That being said, I do want to emphasize quite clearly that just going out and looking at pieces, is that's not the primary way that you get better. The primary way you get better is practice, 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 obviously right and and the more you practice the more you're going to develop your own style the less you practice and the more you look at other stuff like this the more you're only going to be able to see other people's styles in your head so you you do have to practice right i can't emphasize that enough and honestly but like practicing is and, and just doing graph is is the rewarding part of being involved with the art so i just want to make that abundantly clear for everyone for me i would have to walk up and down these freights a few more times like i said just to be able to see the pieces again luckily for all of you guys you're watching this on the video and luckily for all of you guys i have 12 previous episodes of the graffiti freight train watching series that we're doing right now right here already filmed i'll link the season one freight train watching playlist on screen now for you to check out i do 
highly recommend it. There's some great work from a host of artists from coast to coast. And if you do want, feel free to check out some of the other series we do here on the channel. I do lots of graffiti reviews. You know, I show off a little bit of my work, not for the sake of showing it off, but for the sake of discussion and that type of thing. So yeah, please check out a few more of these freight watching episodes. Lots more coming. The regular uploads are on Monday, of course. I hope I'll see you in one of the videos I mentioned very soon. And until then, peace.